Hello and welcome to Sports Update on Trust TV. I am Emmanuel Fashimi. You know, uh, in the morning show, we talked about how the minister has moved swiftly to, um, to inaugurate the members organizing committee of the 2024 National Sports uh, uh, Festival that will happen in Ogun State. Like I said in the morning, fantastic move from the minister. You know, uh, when you prepare early for an event, you are bound to have the best. And Ogun State have promised to uh, host one of the best Best national sports festival they said they want to beat that of Delta State is that feasible on the 2024 we'll know that uh, we'll know if they can actually surpass uh, what Delta State uh, did uh, during the hosting of the last uh, uh, sports festival so but for Ogun State they've been talking tough ahead of the event and the minister is not actually taking their words for granted he is also is moving doing his own he's playing his own part now he has inaugurated uh, uh, the mock that is the members organizing committee of that uh, uh, particular uh, event that will be happening in 2024 okay we, we have the list in the morning we couldn't show you the list right now this is the list uh, and these are the persons that will be actually handling everything that concerns uh, the 2024 national sports uh, festival we have uh, alaji ismaila abubakar as the chairman we have bukola olokpade like i mentioned uh, in the morning as the vice uh, chairman we have tekla opara as the secretary and we have paul onye udo member we have olufe hinti olushegun member muhammad manga uh, member we have gregory z member we have fada fada keke uh, fade ibi member Member we have Abolore Alamu Alamu. Member we have Patrick Okeke Amaka Ashiofu Olawale Moron Moronkola, and then we have Habu Gumel. We have a Sunday uh, when we, when we say Habu Gumel, that name rings where he's a uh, uh, NOC uh, chairman. That is the Nigerian Olympic Committee. Habu Gumel. We have Sunday Ode Odebu. Or double there, and then we have Emmanuel Utubo, Bamiduro, Olamide, Olumide, we have Brenda in the phone, we have Adebayo, Adeyinka, Amechi, Akawu, we have Waziri, Abubakar, Mohammed, and Kweku. Tando. These are the uh, these names I just mentioned are members, but for the chairman is Alaji Ismail Abu Abubakar, who is the permanent secretary for the Federal Ministry of uh, Youth, uh, for the Federal Ministry of Sports. Uh, and then we have uh, Olokpade as the vice chairman and Tekla as the secretary of uh, uh, the members organizing committee of the National Sports Festival 2024 that will uh, go down in Ogun State. So like in the morning, we couldn't give you the list, but now you have the list, you know the members. So uh, if you have questions, you can ask any of these, uh, uh, any of these uh, persons that we just mentioned, the list we just show, and they will be right there to answer your questions. And they, they, are, they will be in charge to see how that uh, National Sports Festival we come, in fact, we come alive and how it's going to be run smoothly. So they are in charge. They will be working with the local organizing committee that has been set up by the host state. So let's see how it goes. The National Sports Festival is where we we'll get talents to represent us in the various sports in this country. So let's uh, leave that story and go straight. Now it's a good news for the Nigerian cricket in the ICC ranking where they have moved up in the ICC ranking that's for the Nigerian yellow and green as they are called and it's a good one that uh, the Nigerian yellow and green move up in the ICC ranking and when it comes to uh, cricket in Nigeria and in Africa we know that um, Nigeria is a fast growing country uh, in the uh, in the cricket world and we've seen how they've been getting uh, the support of uh, the international cricket body uh, at the last time I and now in this movement for Nigeria moving up in the ICC uh, T20 ranking is a good one for uh, our federation for the Cricket Federation of Nigeria and also uh, the president of that uh, the president of the Nigerian Cricket Federation has said Nigeria will continue to progress uh, when it comes to uh, cricket and right now I can tell you that uh, at the ranking position that Nigeria moved up in the t20 rankings going ahead of uh, the countries like rwanda uh, who we think these are countries who started cricket way way ahead of uh, uh, nigeria so for them to have actually move up is a good one 
in the uh, ITT, uh, ICC T20 rankings, I beg your pardon. And for the Night Cricket Federation, well, kudos to them. We hosted one event of recent where uh, the West African Tour Invitational Tournament where Nigeria actually a major champions. Okay, let's uh, leave a cricket story and also talk about another good news for uh, where this time around it's not a good news, but somehow he was still able to retain his position in Africa. That is uh, no other person than Aruna Kadri. Uh, We're talking about table tennis where he has uh, dropped one spot in the ITTF uh, ranking. That is the International Tennis Table Tennis Federation ranking for our own uh, Kadri Aruna. As it stands right now, Aruna is ranked 15th uh, uh, in the world, though he's ahead of the likes of uh, uh, Omar Asaf of Egypt, who is placed second in the continent but for aruna he uh, he moves uh, he dropped one spot to the 15th position in the ittf ranking um, but he is still number one in africa no matter the uh, drop in the uh, ittf ranking he still remains uh, number one in africa he moved from the 14th position to the 15th position in the ittf uh, uh, ranking good one for our own uh, aruna Kadri who is doing well when it comes to table tennis in the world, not just in Nigeria alone, not just in, in Africa. Uh, we Sometimes ago, we talked on this uh, show, on the sports show on Trust TV, that uh, right now, uh, the T Table Tennis Federation of Nigeria needs to start grooming uh, athletes that will take over from Arna Kadre. Though we have uh, Mati also who uh, who is also doing well when he comes, but not just Martin Leno. You know, we want to see more of Aruna Kadri in the table tennis world, in the table tennis sports in Nigeria. And we know that Funka Oshinaike also is still there, uh, uh, Fatima Bello, uh, all of them are there for the women's uh, category. So for Aruna Kadri, uh, dropping a sport in the ITTF ranking they didn't change anything in the top uh, in the let me say the top 10 in africa it remains number one in africa closely followed by omar asa of uh, egypt so good one for aruna kadri now let's leave a uh, table tennis uh, and go straight let's talk about the run leader game now we'll begin from uh, germany where uh, our own victor boniface has been nominated for the third time uh, nominated for the third time that is uh, for the rookie award you, you see that you see that on your screen rotman that is rookie uh, of the month uh, award in the german bundesliga and what does this uh, what does that mean the rookie award means uh, players that are just coming to the league uh, as in just coming to the league the for their first season in the german bundesliga this award has been created to actually encourage them the likes of hurricane uh, Hurricane Victor Bonis face Zavi Simons, who he will be, uh, who will be challenging Victor Boniface for this particular award. Uh, all just coming in to the league, and for Victor Boniface, if you look at the month of October, he was fantastic uh, in a lot of their outings and good one. He had a couple of assists. He had one assist in the derby game against Cologne, uh, where they won two one, and he has been fantastic. Ever since, ever since for Bayer Leverkusen and with his uh, goal scoring form and his assist form, that is where Bayer Leverkusen are topping the table in the German and Bundesliga. He has been nominated for the third time running for the Rookie Player uh, of the Month award. The last uh, two awards, he won them, the one of August and the one of uh, September. He won those two and now he won two back to back and now he has been nominated for the third time that is the month of October. So let's see uh, who, is, who is going to win it. He has Xavi Simons and Brad uh, Gruja to struggle this one with. Now for the uh, October uh, player, a uh, rookie uh, player of the month award, let's see if uh, Victor Boniface can make it a hat trick of that uh, award. Congratulations for his nomination. And immediately uh, the list was released by Leverkusen took to their ex handle that is a uh, uh, Twitter, to actually uh, celebrate uh, and congratulate uh, Victor Boniface for being nominated. So, like I said, he has a uh, Zavi Simmons to contend as in to contend with uh, in this particular award. And I believe with his uh, performances in the month of October, the month under review, Victor Boniface stand a chance of winning it for the third time. And it's, it's a good one for Victor Boniface and for all of our strikers 
doing well in Europe. Now, let's uh, take uh, a trip to Italy where Victor Osimen, another Victor, we are talking about the two Victors on the show this evening. Victor Osimen now will be returning to Italy. That is precisely on Wednesday. We're talking about uh, Victor Veniface to return to Italy tonight. He will be there uh, um, in Italy tonight. We know they have uh, the UEFA Champions League uh, fixture that will be coming up. We'll be getting to that fixtures later on the show. But for Victor uh, Osimen, after uh, that injury uh, that uh, uh, when he came to the uh, international duties, now he will be returning to Italy uh, to continue his um, his uh, recuperation. Probably he will be available for Napoli uh, in the, in the weekend uh, fixtures. But uh, for tonight, he will be there. He will be taking no part in their Champions League uh, uh, class tonight. But uh, it's a good news that uh, Victor Boniface, Victor Simeon, I beg your pardon, not Victor Boniface. Like I said, we talk. We are talking about the two Victors on the on the show. Or oh, Simeon, uh, we be we know that he will be uh, in the Super Eagles uh, squad for the Nations Cup in 2024. That will happening in Cote d'Ivoire. So uh, right now. Jose Pizarro, everybody is trying to see how they can keep Victor, Bonif uh, Victor Osimhen in shape ahead of the Nations Cup next year. It's a good news that he, he, has, uh, uh, he will be returning to his base uh, tonight. I believe he will be there when they will, be, uh, when they will keep a date with their opponents in the Champions League uh, uh, group uh, fixture. Uh, tonight. So for Victor Simen, congratulations for at least it was it, it, it's a good news that he, the injury right now is over. He will, she will be back on Parani over the weekend when they will be playing their Italian Serie A uh, fixture. Now let's uh, look at the fixtures of the Champions League games that will be coming up tonight. We have fixtures that have been lined up for tonight. And let's look at, we look at the other groups uh, in the morning show. Now let's look at the remaining groups in, uh, in the evening show. Now Napoli, like I said, we keep a day with FC Union Berlin from... Uh, uh, Germany. Then we have Real Madrid. Uh, we welcome Sporting Braga of Portugal to the Benaboa. Real Madrid, a fantastic team. A team that has won the UEFA Champions League more than any other team in Europe. Now, in Group D, we have uh, Real Sociedad against uh, Benfica. And then we have Red Bull, Red Bull Salzburg. We take on Inter Milan. They were last season finalists where they lost uh, uh, to Manchester City in that final. Uh, these are some of the um, these are the remaining groups games that will be coming up tonight in the morning. We took that of Group A, uh, Group B, and now we are taking Group C and Group D. Napoli will take on uh, FC Union Berlin. Real Madrid will take on Sporting Braga and Real Sociedad. We play Benfica, Red Bull, Salzburg. We play in Milan. If we can actually have the full fixtures, let's see from Group A to Group D. If we can have the full fixtures the mo in the morning, we took those fixtures though. Let's uh, bring it back as a reminder to see the full fixtures that will be coming up tonight. Okay, now we have uh, Bayern Munich will be taking on, uh, taking on uh, Galatasaray. We have FC Copenhagen to play Manchester United. That is in Group A. In Group B, we have Arsenal against uh, Sevilla and Lens will take a trip to Netherlands to face Edinhoven in that uh, in Group B. Now the remain we now we are taking the remaining group in the evening show in Group C. Now we see Napoli will play FC Union you know, Berlin Real Madrid to take on Sporting Braga Benfica battles Real Sociedad. Let's see if uh, uh, our own uh, Sadiq Omar. Uh, we'll be in action tonight because it, uh, it has not been easy for the young man after coming back for, from that injury that kept him, kept him up for one full season. One full season. So Dukuma was not in action. And since his return, he has been uh, struggling, at least struggling to uh, catch up with his teammates. It's not left for the manager to have faith in him, to keep playing him and giving him that confidence to uh, at least to move to move on. It's a good one that these uh, uh, fixtures will be coming up tonight in the UEFA Champions League. And for Manchester United fans, well, I talked a lot. I I, I talked about it in the morning show. I will still make some. I will still make some mentions uh, about Manchester United tonight against uh, Copenhagen. They need to wake up. They like because if you look at all of the fixtures tonight, a lot of persons have written of uh, 
Manchester United in that game. So you don't do that when it comes to sport. And for Real Madrid, they were head to a goalless draw uh, over the weekend uh, by Rayo Valencano. Let's see how they will bounce back uh, in their fixtures tonight, uh, in their own fixture tonight. That's for Real Madrid. You can still see the fixtures just as a reminder. Uh, Bayern Munich against Galatasaray. I think uh, Bayern Munich in that group, in Group A, uh, better. They, they, they are topping that group. And then Napoli with uh, FC Union Berlin, Real Madrid and against uh, Sporting Braga. It was not a good one over the weekend for Real Madrid at the Benabar. And they had one... <laughs> Uh, you know, their star man, Judy Bellingham, was uh, well, got injured in that particular game. They didn't con uh, conclude uh, the, the game against Rayo Valencano. And let's see how many, uh, how that injury, how bad the, how bad the injury is for uh, Judy Bellingham, who has started life about, uh, who has started, uh, who has started well uh, in. Um, Real Madrid colors, that is white angels as they are called. Good one. Okay, let's look at uh, some of the results of uh, Mike De Four in the UEFA Champions League. Let's look at the results of games that were played last night so that uh, you know uh, uh, you know what happened last night. We have Atletico Madrid beating Celtic 6 0. And Lazio also, uh, Lazio pipped fair not 1 0. Newcastle United lost to Borussia Dortmund away 2 0. And that is at the Duna Park in Germany. We have a similar beating Paris Saint-Germain. That was a, uh, actually a cracker. A very fun, interesting game. AC Milan 2 uh, won against uh, Paris Saint-Germain. AC Milan have won the Champions League six times. Uh, I think they are they they themselves they themselves and Liverpool are the two teams that that have won the Champions League more uh, outside uh, Real Madrid. We have Resta Belgrade. Uh, they lost at home. 2-1 against uh, two one uh, to Arabi Leipzig and Manchester City trash young boys 3-0 and Sakhtar de Donetsk the surprising result of the night beat Barcelona 1-0 and FC Porto defeated Royal Antwerp 2-0 good news for our Nigerian player in the colors of FC Porto Zedi Sanusi he was part uh, he was uh, he played some part in that particular game for Barcelona that result was not a good one for them at all. Shakra Tidonius beating Barcelona 1 0. And after that game, Xavi uh, came out and frowned at the result. He, he, he complained about their inconsistency this season. And if you look at it, I think the man is right because Barcelona has not really been consistent for quite some time since the beginning of the season. They've been winning some games and losing some of them. And now another uh, loss happened uh, in the UEFA Champions League last night so for the fixtures tonight you can just go out there watch any of the uh, game any of the uh, UEFA Champions League game you want to watch but as we speak right now the game between Bendel Insurance and uh, Doma uh, and Doma United is ongoing in the Nigerian Premier League it is our own you have to go and watch the game between ben if those of you are around Gombe and staying in Gombe go and watch Gombe United uh, Doma United I beg your pardon go and watch uh, Doma United at the Pantamin Stadium right there in Gombe State uh, where they are currently taking on Bendel Insurance a team from Benin that is the Benin Arsenal is the Nigerian Premier Football League and after this uh, rescheduled game match the sixth fixture so for Bendel Insurance and Doma United that game uh, I believe is currently ongoing and probably uh, towards the uh, closing stages of that particular game as we speak okay that is where we'll leave it on the show sports update on Trust TV I am Emmanuel Fashimi saying thanks for watching